Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create Azure Kubernetes private cluster and access the cluster resources from local system. I have logged into the Azure portal. Click Kubernetes services, click create, create a Kubernetes cluster, let's create a new resource group. Okay. So this is just for the demo. So I am going to create a dev test and the cluster name I am going to call it as a demo cluster. And the region I am going to leave it as default, pricing tier free and the Kubernetes version also I will leave it as default. So since it's just for the demo purpose, I am just going to give the node count ranges 1, click next. I am going to leave everything as default, click next. So here also I'm going to leave them as default, click next. So here we will select enable private cluster because we want this cluster to be a private cluster. Click, check that, then click next. So here again, I'm going to leave everything as a default. I'm not going to create a container registry. Click next, click next, click next. The validation passed. Now click create. The deployment is in progress. The demo cluster has been successfully created. Click go to resource. Now we could see the cluster has been successfully created. Let us see whether we are able to access the resources. No, we cannot access the resources. It says private clusters require that the browser is running on a machine that has access to the AKS clusters Azure virtual network. Now let us see how we'll be able to access the cluster resources from our local system. For that first we need to do a login. But since already I have logged in, I'm not going to log in again. So now let us get the credentials. We have to provide the resource group. We give the name as JRP and then we need to provide the name of the cluster which is demo cluster. We have got the credentials. Since this is a private cluster, we won't be able to access the Kubernetes resources directly. So for that we need to use ZAKS command invoke we need to again pass the resource group name and then the name of the cluster then we need to specify the command so first let us see whether we are able to access the kubectl get notes command Okay, so we have created a AKS private cluster with only one node. So that information we are able to see here. Now let us see whether we are able to get the pods information. So we are able to get the pod information also. So most of the pods are running in the cube system namespace. In this demo, we have seen how to create a AKS private cluster and how to access the Kubernetes resources from the local system. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.